everyone it's Kay here thank you very much for joining me today I'm back to do another DT project for Papercraft Secrets using the lovely Summer Fairies printable and I showed you that in my last DT project video so today we're going to make some goat fold cards oh not goat fold cards easel cards using the same collection now it's been a long time since I made easel cards <laughs> so hopefully I'll get this right so I've got three square card bases and I've already folded one in half already and I'll show you what I did to do that I just did it there Jeez, so I just used it my where the fold is to bring the other card to the base like that then I used my bone folder to make sure it was all pressed down so that you've got your bases then so that's that there and then to actually make the card I've got this other one that I'm going to cut in half just make sure it's on the half not more not too much to this and then this is going to go on there like that so when you've got your card it folds down like that hopefully that works it's been a long time since I've made one of these ages so we're going to put some double-sided tape on this fold here because that's the bit that's going to because that's why it's like an easel because it looks like an easel when it's on the stand like that see so hopefully that'll work let's find the end And scissors to cut by. Probably shouldn't use those ones. Because I use those for big cutting and then they get tacky with all the things I should I use to cut it cut things with and <laughs> I shouldn't, shouldn't cut half the things I do with my bigger scissors. Oops. And then I've got to clean them afterwards. Oh, speaking of cleaning, I just remembered I was gonna clean my acrylic block. But I don't know, I think it's I think it's at the stage where I need a new one, a stamping block, because it's getting a bit hard to see through the acrylic block. Because I've cleaned it that many times, it's, gonna, it's got a bit of a scratch surface, I think, from being cleaned. So I'm just going to take that off here. So I hope you're doing well battling on some people I know battle on I think this is the best thing I ever found for bar battling on issues it's just it's been the best thing crafting emotionally speaking I'm trying to deal with all my stuff and realize that realization that I can't do half the stuff I used to be able to do that was the hardest thing not being able to do all the things I want to do from especially my grandchildren but I'm hoping to sort of get a bit better but when you're on the tablets to suppress your immune system you keep getting sick all the time but that's besides the point I haven't been sick for a while so whoops that's good. Positive, positive. Got to remember the positives. Yep. And my positives are whenever I have a lovely day with my family or sell a journal or sell some cards or I finish something that I'm really happy with. So that's like that. So what I'm going to do, I've got my two bases here. I don't know if I'll have time to make the two, but we'll see. So I've got my um, base here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trace around the middle edge here. And maybe we should just do the top. So we've got the, the kind of edges which I quite like, these jaggedy edges here. Let's see. Yeah, that there. Just 
going to draw around it with my pencil. my scissors to cut on the line. Probably should have used my trimmer but hopefully I'm cutting straight. Sorry I'm not talking because I'm concentrating on my cutting out but I don't cut anything I shouldn't. So I'll put that to one side because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to put this on my card. And I can see it's going to be too big for the base, but that's all right. We can trim it to fit in it. So pop this double sided tape down around the edges. I mean, you, you could measure it if you wanted to leave a border. Um, as usual, I'm just going to draw a border some texture or pen or something we'll see see what I think it's not hmm, go on this page very well did I okay oh, I have to get that off I just didn't um, stick inside the edge very well here it's come off thank goodness Sometimes it's hard to grab things. Oops. We had our grandsons the other day and we took them to an indoor pool. And before we went, we actually asked if the slides were going to be open in the school holidays. Yes, they said they were going to be open in the school holidays. So I said, okay. So my eldest grandson said, can we go on the slide? And I, he said, you can pay. And I said, yes, but we had to wait till lunchtime because that's what the time was. And he, so my husband went to check what time they were open and they said they weren't open at all that day. So, you know, it's a bit disappointing when they tell you one thing one day and tell you something completely different whether they didn't think it was worthwhile opening that day. I've got no idea. I didn't have the staff, I've got no idea. They didn't explain why. They weren't open, very disappointing. I've lost, lost the plot here. What have I done? Oh. That goes like that, yes. So, have I stuck this on wrong? That's what I've done wrong. I've done. Oh no, that's right. That way around. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So, one of the things you have to do is create something to stop the easel from sliding down. So, you have to create a little thing here. So, I'm going to use this little hexagon here. And I'm going to. Which way around is it? Just going to fold it in half. Going to put a happy birthday on it so it doesn't look quite so you could cut that off and stick that down so I'm going to stick that down I'm going to my just use my 450 I think down the whole lid which was not a good idea to do but we still had fun you know in the pool um, just you know just swimming and splashing and we always take some pool toys with us and um, like pool, you know those things you can throw in and they have to dive down and get them so but that was fun they wanted to go in the deep air, in deep pool for a little while, so we went in there for a little while and 
no, but to encourage them to sort of be, be swimming because they haven't swum for a while so it's hard because my, um, my daughter works you know late and they don't live there where they live is there's no pool you have to go back to another place like half an hour away and they play basketball in summer and football in winter and it makes it hard to find another time to do the swimming so um, it just makes the whole thing very difficult because basketball is played on a Saturday morning, football is played on a Saturday morning, practice you know, one night it just makes it really hard and my, my her husband works you know goes really early in the morning and because he manages his work place and doesn't get home till late so makes it really hard and then when you've got the you just I guess it goes folded down inside the cart so how what I'm going to do is to create a point of it so I've actually cut this out of uh, using my um, dies because I'm going to as a backdrop to this beautiful fairy here so I've, excuse me I forgot to get the foam out of course as usual so I'm going to layer it up excuse me my whole cardboard thing just dropped down on the floor that I use so I'm just going to use this to help me with my um, layers nice big bit of card because this is all from packaging because I always talk to you about packaging and using your packaging and I know that um, Alicia who is the instigator of Paper Graph Secrets and owns the shop um, always does layers on hers cards using card. So I'm just going to do another layer here. This time I'm going to use my foam, foam mounts for this fairy. Isn't she beautiful? Was I going to use the fairy? Oh yes, I was going to use the other fairy for something else. I've got another fairy to use here for another card. I've got time. These are just pretty and there's so many things you can you know keep it the whimsical kind of thing with the fairies and the with the really pretty caravans or you could just keep it um, tropical and just use the flowers and so it's good I like the jagged edges on this one I'm glad I've decided to do it that way around so I'm just going to do it in the middle but I like I like the layers there I feel like I'm miles away, but because of this, my box has fallen off, of card has fallen over, it's right underneath my feet, so it's a bit in the way here. <laughs> Not that you can see, but I can feel them. Is that everything? I think there's one more. Okay, so I pop that on her there, like that. So when it's up, Got it like that. Can you see? Sorry, can you see? So there's your easel card. I just, if you wanted to, you could decorate the whole bottom if you like as well. But I think that's um, plenty, really. You don't. You can put some bling. Maybe you could put some bling on the on the um, French pennies. Excuse me. Find some bling. I can find some bling. I think it should be. Is that too green? Yeah, it is too green. I don't have from it. I don't have actually any yellow. I just got gold. So if I can find my gold, I'll be alright. Yeah, it is there. I'll pop that over there so it's not in the way. And put these in the bin before they fly away because I've got my fan on again today. It's always a bit warm in here. It's cold and it's winter and then 
um, in summer it just feels a bit warm sometimes because I think because I'm close to the back fence and um, I think the sun hits the back fence and bounces off kind of thing it's beautiful isn't it funny how we have a little bit of bling this gives that another little layer I mean you could have just I could have uh, created another layer under there but I don't think it's that kind of card where you can use cheesecloth or something like that it's just you could if you wanted to there's personal preferences my preference is that um, I just don't think it's that kind of card and I could do black around the outside like I normally do but I don't know if that's going to spoil it or not so I'm going to cut the edges off properly I just I have to think about whether I want to put black around there or not because I think I quite like it the way it is so that's one <laughs> So we've got time to do another one. So here is the same sort of thing where we're going to have a something on the this one I'm going to use a flower I think a couple of flower cloths like that. And stick it down there like that. I think you need a double layer of something because one layer may not be enough to um, stop the, the easel part from slipping down. Let's have a look, where do I want it? About there. Have you ever smelled a funny penny? They smell so lovely. They're hard to grow in South Australia. Mind you, with the climate slowly changing, who knows? Now, what am I going to put on here? I was going to put another label, uh, another greeting, but I've put them somewhere and I can't see them. Is that right? Be a thank you, maybe? I had a whole heap out. What have I done with it all? I don't know. it comes with a whole heap of um, greetings this click this um, printable does and now I can't find what I've done with them that is just so annoying sorry we'll keep making I and mean, then hopefully they'll just turn up like uh, things seem to do so with this one I'm going to use this background I'm going to put it back right in the middle and I'll trim it off um, as I need, so I'm going to reckon a roughly guesstimate about there and about there. I don't know what it is. those the greetings that say happy birthday. It end up somewhere, but we have got no idea. So I'm doing that paper. It's just sort of... Okay, so that's going to go right in the middle. I bet you I've got this, the um, things in the wrong spot. So this doesn't quite reach the top of the page. I did, I missed the, missed the edge. Guesstimated wrongly. That's right, easily fixed. And put a um, another one there. And then miss this side too. It's pretty, isn't it? That one. I like the rainbow ones. So for this one, I'm going to use this fairy here, and I'm just going to pop her up. Was I going to use a circle on her as well? Or one of these circles with the butterflies on them, because I like quite like the butterflies. 
give it a bit of colour. I don't know if that actually goes. So what other colours have I got? I've got the blue. Well, she's blue. Is that too much the same? Orange. Is there orange on her clothing? Not much. I think I'll have to stick to the blue. I don't think it'll go with the hexagon. It does a bit, doesn't it? Can't decide. Let's cut her out a little bit more. You know, some of these um, print me think, oh, that's too hard to cut out. So if you are got these really thin bits that you don't think is necessary needed for your car, just cut them off. I do. Because, you know, like, you can't keep everything. It's, it's, it's just too hard sometimes because it just seems like the end of that, I'm going to cut that off. Because it's going to be hard to stick it back on again anyway. Careful of her feet. A little bit thin, aren't they, as well? I'm going to cut around her. There's a few like her in, in, the, in this uh, printable. There's these girl ones, and there's these older, older looking ones. Older girl, young women. Just, just sorry, I should have done this bit before. I didn't realise how how much it needed cutting off. Okay. I'm going to cut all of that off except for right here. And her hair piece. It's going to be hard to cut up her hair around her hair. Now, see, I cut because I've cut all this extra bit off, it'll look a bit different. Stick it on. Okay. Let's have a look. Is she going to be too busy on there? Better on here. That's better. I will stick to that one. And this one I'm going to mount it again. Straight up and down, do you reckon? If you want a firm mount her, like as she's walking out of the rainbow, sort of thing. It's so relaxing, card making. <laughs> Any creating is really relaxing. Before you know it, time goes past you think, oh, where does the time go? Oops. So, this Wednesday, we've got uh, grandsons again for... Filming this on a Sunday, so you may not see this on 
till after we've had the boys again. Got our grandsons again, and that'll be the last time for the school holidays back at school. And we were hoping to do a explorer thing at the beach, but my eldest daughter said it was booked out because we're going to meet her and her daughter, and so we have the three grandchildren will be together. So I'm really in with them. I cannot find <laughs> the other greetings. What happened to them? That's just oh, here they are hiding. I'm going to do it just for you, Blue. I don't know. Can you see her as well? come up a little bit. I think they turned out really well. Like I said, you could decorate the bottom as well if you wanted to with um, with with part of the papers that I've used the, from the collection and um, from the printable, I should say. You could do that. I think that would look nice too, but I I feel that that's enough decoration, personally. Because then you're focusing on the main part there. Beautiful. Does she need any bling? Maybe some sparkle on her wings, maybe. Sparkle brush. Oh, she got sparkle on her best looks you've got a little drawn ones on there so maybe just add some sparkle beautiful and on the wings maybe just a bit sparkle you might not be able to see that's a sparkle brush from uniquely creative so there you go, look at that sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? Probably not, sorry. It's very pretty. And yeah, like I said, that's gonna be like that. These are gonna come up if I don't stick them down. I used all, um, I printed mine up on my printable this time up on 120 GSM and um, it makes for a lot easier cutting for the smaller elements and keeping the other elements popped up anyway i am really happy with the way they turned out because you know, i haven't made them for such a long time can you see they are lovely that would be a perfect gift um birthday card for somebody or just to cheer up somebody i think they're lovely thank you very much for joining me today and um Check out the Paper Craft Secrets Facebook group. They have lots of people post layouts, cards, mixed media, anything really. That's and then people ask questions. It's a very friendly group. You don't have to be just an Australian to join. And um, so please have a look, check that out and check out Paper Craft Secrets on YouTube and at the shop as well. Just for the printables. Thank you very much for being here again, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.